Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about efficient power control that is optimizing energy management in photovoltaic battery super capacitor hybrid solar systems. The objective of this example is uh, optimizing the energy management in photovoltaic battery super capacitor hyper storage system using MATLAB sibling with some of the uh, techniques called ma maximum power point technique, ma power point tracking technique that is a perturb and observe optimization algorithm for both battery and super capacitor is to develop and implement an advanced control strategy that maximizes the energy harvest from photovoltaic panels and optimizes the energy management between battery and supercapacitor in standalone hybrid systems. Let us see the introduction about this efficient power control example that is optimizing energy management in photovoltaic battery supercapacitor hybrid storage system using MATLAB simile. What is the objective of this one? To develop and implement advanced control algorithms using MATLAB simulating for efficient power management into a standalone photovoltaic battery capacitor hybrid storage systems. This includes designing and simulating control strategies that optimize the energy flow between the photovoltaic panels, batteries and super capacitors taking into account factors such as solar irradiance, load demand and state of charge of the energy storage components. This can be implemented by using MATLAB's simulating softwares. The objective of uh, is um, in this example is to leverage the modeling and simulation capabilities of MATLAB, MATLAB simulating to analyze, optimize and validate different control strategies and ultimately achieve higher energy efficiency, improved power stability and increased reliability in the operation of hybrid energy storage system design. What is the result from this research can provide valuable insights for developing practical and effective control solutions for real world uh, PV battery uh, super capacitor hybrid storage systems to contribute the advancement of renewable energy technologies. Introduction about MPPT P and O optimization algorithm. This algorithm can apply for both battery and super capacitors is to develop and implement an advanced control strategy that maximize the energy harvest from PV panels and optimize the energy management between battery and super capacity and standalone hybrid storage systems. Normally the MPPT P and O um, optimization algorithm is widely used, used for the Tracking maximum power point of a photovoltaic panel. It what is what is mean, P, mean by P and O? It perturbs the operating point of point of the panel and observes the resulting change in the power output to determine direction towards the maximum power point. By implement this MPPT P and O algorithm by using MATLAB simulating to dynamically adjust the operating point of the photovoltaic panel to achieve maximum power output under varying solar irradiance and temperature conditions. In this example, we, are, we have to apply the solar irradiance value and temperature conditions by using PV array model simulating block. In addition to the MPPT algorithm, the photovoltaic panel, that control strategy also includes optimization algorithm for managing the energy flow between the battery and super capacitors. By using this MPPT p and optimization algorithm involves designing and implementing the control algorithms that considers various parameters such as state of charge of the battery, uh, and super capacitors, loan demand, charging and discharging rates and system efficiency. This can this can be you can see by using MATLAB's simulating scopes. Then previously we have MPPT P and O algorithms are discussed. Now the optimized BI, BI, bidirectional DC to DC boost converter for both battery and capacitor. Yeah, already we have discussed about this uh, example is used to optimize the energy management strategy using bidirectional DC to DC converter. Considering along with the MPPT algorithm for the photovoltaic panel to achieve higher energy efficiency, improved power stability and increased reliability in the operation of the hybrid energy storage systems. Then what is the use of this bidirectional bi directional DC to DC bus converter? ECF bus converter is a DC power electronic device that can efficiently transfer energy bidirectionally between two energy storage devices such as battery and super capacitors. It allows energy to be efficiently transferred from photovoltaic panel to either the battery or the super capacitors based on the system requirements, load demand and state of charge of uh, energy storage components. Why we are using, why you are implementing this uh, by bidirectional DC to DC converter by using especially MATLAB simulating is to develop a control strategy and optimize the energy flow between photovoltaic panel, battery and super capacitors. And also these algorithms used to dynamically adjust the power transfer between battery and super capacitors based on their SOC and uh, system efficiency and load demand. Finally, the summary of this one, MPPT algorithm may be combined with this control algorithm of uh, bidirectional DC to DC converter is to optimize energy management and utilization in standalone photovoltaic battery super capacitor and hybrid storage system. 
This is the model overview of optimizing the energy management photovoltaic battery super capacitor hybrid storage systems along with MPPTP and algorithm and bidirectional DC to DC converter for both battery and super capacitor model. This, are, this block includes the inputs we have to give the uh, irradiance and temperature to the PV array and DC to DC boost converter and this, this subsystem is called as MPPTP and algorithm block. Here you can see these are a super capacitor input and battery capacitor in battery battery input and here also applied bidirectional DC to DC converter for super capacitor here bidirectional DC to DC converter block applied to battery here these are the scopes okay we can see with uh, super capacitor scope and battery scope PV scope and power power analysis scope and also you can see the display in irradiance display what what type of what value of irradiance are given here to 1480 and Temperature is set as 25. The by double clicking the, the, this block, we can set the PVRA temperature and irradiance and all the all the things. What is the what are the optimization techniques to design hybrid energy storage system? For first one, the following techniques can be used to design an energy storage system specifically for the PV battery cap capacitor hybrid storage systems using MATLAB simulation. Some some small introduction about this MPPT algorithm. We are going to implement. A yeah, maximum power point algorithm for to ensure that the operate at the maximum power power out output under varying environmental conditions. Okay. These algorithms can help optimize the energy hours from the photovoltaic panel and maximize the system's overall the energy generation. The next one is a bidirectional DC to DC boost converter. By incorporating this uh, boost converter into the system design to efficiently transfer energy bidirectionally between the battery and supercapacitor. This converter can help manage the energy flow between the energy storage components based on their state of charge, system efficiency and loan demand. And how, how it is useful for energy management strategy. Developing and implementing an advanced control strategy that optimizes the energy flow between photovoltaic panel, battery and supercapacitor. This may involve designing the implement control algorithm that dynamically adjusts the power transfer between the battery and supercapacitor based on the state of charge, system efficiency and load demand. And finally, what is the simulation analysis? By utilizing these two uh, technologies, this, this can help optimize the system design, identify potential issues and refine the energy management strategy for, for improving the performance. Finally, these optimized techni uh, optimized optimization techniques for the performance evaluation. Evaluating the performance of the energy storage system based on various metrics such as energy efficiency, power stability, reliability and economic feasibility. This uh, may in, uh, involve conducting simulations with the different scenarios, analyzing the result and making necessary arrangement to optimize the system performance. By using this model, we can set the various uh, parameters by using the MATLAB Simulink. Uh, this example may be uh, available in our in, in my YouTube channel description box. You can access this uh, by access by the, using the Google Drive link. You can get this model particularly used for your study purpose and research purpose. By incorporating this in techniques into design of an energy storage system using MATLAB, uh, one can develop an efficient and optimized photovoltaic supercapacitor hybrid storage system that maximizes the energy utilizations and also improves power stability and increases the overall performance of the reliability of the system. Let us see the output scope. Here, uh, this scope is called as supercapacitor scope. Here, by using by incorporating the supercapacitor along with the uh, bidirectional DC to DC converter and, and MPPT PN algorithm, it acts as a buffer to supply additional power, quickly reducing the impact of load fluctuations on the system stability. Here you can see this can lead to higher overall system efficiency and improved utilization uh, of uh, the available energy. Here you can see the fast charging and discharging times can improve the responsiveness and the flexibility of the energy storage system. Then next day you can see the uh, battery so scope. This scope showing the how the battery charges and discharges during the different operating conditions and the energy ma management strategies. Here by using this information can help optimize the battery charging and discharging profiles for efficient energy utilization. Uh, it shows the effect effectiveness of the bidirectional DC to DC boost converter in controlling the battery currents and optimizing the charging and discharging process. Finally you can see the PV array scope. In this PV array scope and the energy storage system includes analyzing the PV array output power and uh, voltage and current and NP how MPPT algorithm gives the effectiveness and uh, PV array efficiency and system stability shown in the here. These insights can help optimize the energy generation and utilization strategies for efficient and reliable operation of the energy storage system. Let us see the example for uh, 
this uh, system. This is a model overview. Here you can see the uh, inputs that is a irradiance display and all. Here in this block uh, is used to give the input to the uh, signal bar. By using the signal builder, we can set the um, temperature, irradi irradiance and temperature, irradiance and temperature value by using this signal builder block. Here this is our PV array block. Here you can set the uh, model type of model. Here we are seeing the where, where energy is uh, model we are we are seeing. We can set different types of uh, models. Models are available. You can see whatever you are uh, you, you need to uh, apply. Here you can set the uh, parallel strings and series connected models and all the things. Here you can check with this IV and PV characteristic. It is used as one model 25 degree cam. Uh, uh, degrees of temperature and special uh, specified ir ir irradiances are sh shown here. Here you can see irradiance value 1000 we are set this uh, value. Now you can see the plots by using this uh, model. Here model type was varan in energies model. Here you can see the voltage and power curve and this one voltage and current curve. Here uh, um, the other uh, values are default one. Here you can see by advanced advanced uh, pa panel here. Here you can set the robust discrete mode, say cell temperatures, uh, maybe input to to this be disabled. By it also allows to break algebraic loop in a internal mode. Uh, this one, this is a DCT boost converter block by using IGBT boost converter here along with this diode boost. These are MPPTP and O algorithms. By using the MATLAB script, you can analyze already MATLAB functions are available in this example. So that we can easily call the PETAP and observe algorithm by using default. This one switch actor switch MPPT switch, and then uh, these are bidirectional super uh, bidirectional uh, DC to DC converter for super capacitor. In this super capacitor block, you can uh, see you can set the rated capacitance and equivalent DC to DC series resistance and what is the rated voltage number of series capacitors and number of parallel capacitors and initial voltage and operating temperature voltage you can see these are called as um, EDLC that is a electric double layer capacitors in this super capacitor here this is a block for DC to bidirectional DC to DC uh, converter super capacitors for uh, this IGPT diode block here here you have to mention this internal resistance and snubber resistance and snubber capacitance for both this both similarly for battery DC to bidirectional DC to DC converter. Here you can set the battery type as lithium ion cell. If whatever you for understanding purpose, for research purpose, analysis purpose, you can check with battery uh, lead acid, lithium ion, nickel, nickel cadmium, and nickel metal hydrate. Whatever maybe you can set this battery. You, you have to set the nominal voltage, rated capacity, and initial state of charge and uh, battery response time. Here we can set the initial state of charge is 50 so that you can see the output like that. Here, these are the scopes, separate scopes for, for uh, super capacitor, battery, PV array, and PA scope. Let us see this uh, simulation. What type of output we are going to see? That is our battery scope output, and this is our PV, PV array scope output. This is our PP scope output, and finally, this is our super capacitor output. You can see. Now, I hope you uh, enjoy this video for your. Uh, MATLAB Simulink, optimizing the energy management in photovoltaic battery capacitors hybrid storage system by using this MPPT algorithm along with bidirectional DC to DC boost boost converter for both battery and super capacitor to achieve the maximum um, energy management, optimization energy management in this hybrid storage system. I hope you enjoy this video. You are for the first time you are my, of my channel is kindly subscribe my channel just to give one like and share, share to your uh, friends. Um, uh, this uh, this working model is available in my, my YouTube uh, description box. Uh, you can use, uh, download freely. Well, for particularly used for your student, if you are a student means you are uh, using use, used for your study and uh, research purpose. Thanks for watching. Thank you.